Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You no, know, I know I haven't uploaded a video in quite a while. I'm aware of it. I've been getting a lot of messages asking me if I'm quitting YouTube and no, it's not the case. I just took a little break. I got super busy with other things and I was also sick and I'm still trying to recover. I don't feel as energized, but I am getting better. So I'm here to make a video. This video is gonna be a van video, a how-to, as you say. The summer's coming, the summer is here, it's getting hot outside, and I wanted to talk about ways on how you can stay cool while living in the van, how to survive a hot summer while living in the van, how to escape the heat while you're living in the van. Living in the van is not the same as living in the house or an apartment and I know it's probably common sense but it's it's not staying cool while living in the van requires actual work and effort you can just go to a thermostat and set a temperature that you want you want it to be at most of the time or a lot of times you don't have air conditioning in your van to kind of cool off but there's a lot of different ways that can help you stay cool the one thing I do want to say is no matter how many things you do to stay cool and how many things you have there's always going to be a time where it's not enough there's going to be times where it's still going to get too hot in the van and i do have a solution for that as well so yeah let's just let's just stop blabbering and start this video before we start this video don't forget to like it don't forget to subscribe if you're new to this channel and if you're a current subscriber don't forget to click that bell notification so you get notified when i upload videos Lately, YouTube's been weird and not sending notifications, and I want for you guys to get notifications, and I want for you guys to see my videos, because, yes, I make them for myself, because I like making videos, but I also make them for you guys, because I do want to help people, if I can, or, you know, offer some tips and how-tos about van life, or scooter life, or whatever it might be, you know, so I do want you guys to get notifications. So anyways, let's get right into it i guess so let's start with all the basics i guess or everything that everybody has in their van so i'm gonna try to adjust the camera so don't mind the mess this is the mattress it's folded up right now because uh jed and i moved some mattresses around because we have two mattresses so it's a little bit messy in here I'm kind of working on a few things but anyway so let's start with basics so number one that can help you stay cool in your van or escape the heat is uh roof vents we have two max air roof vents in this van um and we also keep the front windows cracked so the way it works is we keep the front windows cracked the roof vent that's above me above the bed sucks air in so it blows air on us and then the one that's in the middle of the vent sucks air out so we constantly have the airflow going and that keeps the van cool especially in the mornings it keeps the van cooler for longer it will still get hot in here as the temperature outside gets hotter but because we have constant airflow it will keep it will keep the van cooler for longer number two thing is reflectix or window coverings so having reflectix in your windows will help because it will reflect the heat out it just makes the van stay cooler plus it gives you privacy the one thing about reflectix is you do want to have a little bit of space between your window and reflectix you have you want to have that low air barrier or air gap in there that's the way it will work the best um another thing is a window tint window tint helps a lot especially if it's ceramic so the window tint we have in our van is ceramic we have it pretty dark in our back windows uh front side windows are you know as dark as we can go legally and our windshield is also even tinted just slightly just five percent which helps with the heat like amazingly like when we drive in the van in the heat and the sun is beaming straight on the windshield the heat doesn't transfer as well which is amazing so that definitely helps as well another thing that will help you to stay cool in your van is those little like 11 10 dollar um fans that you can buy at walmart you can plug it into the cigarette light adapter those will help as well so the more airflow you have the better because it will keep your van cooler so definitely get one of those um, another thing that we like to use are those cooling towels so uh, stacking up a nose helps a lot 
um, what we do is I like to do is you know you make them wet and then we stick them in the fridge or even the freezer if you have the freezer once they're nice and cold you can put them around your neck or in your head or whatever it might be and it does help your body to cool off if it's too hot in your van another thing that you can do is just go outside it will get hot in your van no matter what you do so once it gets to the point where it's getting too hot go outside go on the hike go enjoy the nature go on the beach go sit in the shade go to the store i'm pretty sure if you live in the van you don't want to spend your whole time in the van a lot of people who do uh live this lifestyle they live out of their van so they just use the van for like sleeping and cooking and most of the time they spend outside anyways but definitely going outside enjoying the nature going hikes going inside stores stuff like that will help you keep cool there's plenty of air conditioned areas another thing that i should have been number one thing is if you live in the van most of the time you set up to be to live a nomadic lifestyle so a lot of people who live this lifestyle they move around so they're not going to be spending their summertime in texas or arizona they're probably going to spend their uh, summertime in the higher elevations or more up north so definitely moving to a location that is at the right temperature for you is should be number one step not number four or five or whatever it is if you do happen to live statically in one place because you have a job or whatever else it's 100 degrees outside then no matter what you really do it's still gonna be hot you can help it obviously but your best bet would be just going somewhere where they have air conditioning the next thing is having a fridge or a freezer we have a fridge and it's amazing because we can keep our drinks cold and when it gets too warm even outside outside for us and we have nice cold drinks cold bottle water is placed on your body it's nice you can also make some sort of the swamp cooler with that as well cold iced waters put the um, fan on them and it will blow coldish air around you can do that if you don't have the fridge then your next bet would be a cooler and buying ice for it another option is to make your own ice so over here we have an ice maker and let me get over here it makes ice down here you can see it's making ice and you can make your own ice so we have an ice maker this thing is amazing it takes about two amps um to run about 300 watts so our kodiak over here so it's kind of dirty and dusty runs it perfectly the kodiak has a 1200 watt inverter and it's uh, 90 amp hours this one takes 300 watt or 2.25 amps so it runs perfectly what you can do if you cannot afford an expensive fridge what you can do is if you have a cooler you can buy an ice maker uh, i'm gonna link everything in the description and if you have a power source like the Kodiak, which is amazing, I highly recommend the Kodiak. Or if you have a homemade system, which we have both, you can just run an ice maker and make your own ice. Yeah, so making your ice definitely helps in that way. If you do have an ice maker like we do, um, you can put the ice in the towels and put them around you and put them around and... I don't know cool yourself down this way so those are the things that kind of can help you uh, escape the heat and stay cooler in the summertime obviously all of those things require work um, it's not as easy as living in the house it takes effort it takes work and but you know if you are living this lifestyle or want to live this this lifestyle you would understand that no matter what you do everything requires work and effort if you live this lifestyle it's not as easy as living in the house but there are obviously trade-offs like being mobile having no rent um minimalistic lifestyle stuff like that so there's it's it's a trade-off that's what i'm trying to say so yeah this is the ways that we like to stay cool or cooler um, in the van. Hopefully, kind of helps some of you. But if you ha if you do live in the van or you live this lifestyle and you have other ways that you stay or cooler in the van please comment them down below share your tips share your how to's we are a collective brain over here and we try to help each other so whatever suggestions you might have please drop them in the comments down below 
highly appreciate it i really hope you enjoyed this video i know it's not the most exciting thing it's not like i'm going on adventuring or anything but i figured with the summer coming i might as well share some tips and tricks don't forget to check out the video i have about the kodiak if you are looking for some power solutions Use code EV for 20% off if you like anything from that company. I'm going to link everything down below. Also, I am going to be making the video on the ice maker as well. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my links down below. I have a merch link and I have my social media links and I have some other cool links down there. I have links to everything that I've mentioned here down below as well, to the roof fans and everything else. Don't forget to like this video, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I will see you on the next one!